Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video to answer questions that I've had recently about drivers in Windows. Um, a lot of you have noticed that uh, drivers come in often in two forms. The ones that are actually updated through Windows Update and those that you can actually download from the hardware manufacturer's website. And a lot of you have been asking um, which ones are the best, which ones should I look at? So this is an interesting question because um, a couple of years back, actually starting with Windows 7, a lot of the drivers started to come through Windows Update. And this was in order to make it simpler for people to update their drivers on their computers without having to go through the hassle of finding you know, the manufacturer's website and so on and downloading the drivers. And often it was kind of difficult. There are drivers that you're not sure which ones are the ones you need or the best or is this one newer than the other one or so it gets complicated at some point so here's the thing two types of drivers basically will come with a computer the first one is the drivers that come through the um, Windows update and of course you can check them out by going through a settings going into update and security and checking for updates and if you see drivers uh, appear, you know, like, uh, you know, um, AC, Wi-Fi drivers, you know, Realtek, um, 802.11, whatever, drivers, or, you know, Ethernet adapter drivers, or even some graphics adapter drivers, uh, you know, NVIDIA, and so on. Well, the ones you'll have there are usually the latest drivers. The idea is there are two ways that drivers update. It's either through Windows Update or through the manufacturer, but never both. So if drivers update through Windows Update, then that means you won't have better drivers on the manufacturer's website. So that's the first thing to know. So if you're a driver, you notice that the drivers of the hardware of your PC are updating through Windows Update. Don't bother going to the manufacturer. They're probably the latest drivers. But if you never see driver updates, and that happens on some devices, well, you have the manufacturer website. And you need to know where to look. In branded PCs, you know, Toshiba, Dell, uh, HP, L Lenovo, uh, Acer, if you have a branded PC, those drivers are usually on that PC's manufacturer's website. So if you've got an Acer computer, you'll go to acer.com or whatever website for Acer. And there you'll find and try to find your model number, your PC's model number, which is often on a sticker somewhere on the case or underneath your laptop and over there you'll have the latest drivers available and the latest drivers available are going to be um, basically the drivers that are available for your computer and are the latest you don't necessarily need you don't really need to go to a another manufacturer website so if you have a HP computer that has an NVIDIA graphics adapter for example well the latest graphics adapter driver will be on the HP website you don't have to go to a separate website like the NVIDIA website unless you have uh, a desktop and you've changed the adapter yourself and of course there's the other devices for example I've added a Wi-Fi AC adapter on my computer that one, of course, will not be updated through Toshiba, for example, because it's a Toshiba machine I've got. Then another way that you can check out is uh, either if you right-click on your Start menu, you can go to the Device Manager. And in the Device Manager, you'll see your hardware. And here, for example, I have my Realtek RTL 8111AU Wireless LAN AC adapter. I can right-click on it, go into Properties, into Drivers, and know the date of the last update. So here, 22 of March 2019, we're in June. Driver isn't very old, so it possibly is the latest driver. And plus, I know that on this computer, that driver has been updated through Windows Update because I've seen it before appear in Windows Update. But you can click Update Driver. And it's going to tell you if you've got the latest or not. And if you're not sure if it can come through Windows Update or not, then go visit the manufacturer's website. You can check out, so I would go to the Realtek website. And the Realtek website, you go into the menus and you find the download paths and um, you know all the different computer 
peripheral ICs or multimedia ICs are. It's not always easy to find, but uh, you go through the different options in these menus, and hopefully you will find whatever you're looking at. Uh, so here we got um, numbers for different hardware on the computers and so on. So, uh, and you can choose a subcategory. So here is USB hubs, PC camera, card readers, PC audio, and so on. It's not always easy to find these drivers, but um, usually if the driver installed isn't very old, you're probably up to date with the latest drivers. And if we just recap the drivers through Windows updates, if they are updated through there, or are in general the latest drivers you've got. Um, and if you have added hardware, then you'll need to go to the manufacturer's website. One little word of caution here, try to avoid going on a, a, on a Google search. Why? There are tons of fake driver uh, manufacturers out there. And um, basically, the, um, if you download from anywhere, you'll, you might find and you might have actually, uh, you know, uh, malware, ransomware, viruses of all sorts appear on your computer. And so I don't recommend that you search for drivers within Google itself, but try to find the manufacturer's website directly and find the model number and the driver number. And you get all of that information in the, the device manager. So if you right click in the start menu, device manager, you will see that you will have. So if I click on the wireless adapter here and click drivers, you have the uh, manufacturer real tech, the model number RTL 18811AU. Uh, the driver version, which is here, 1030.38.304.2019, and so on. Get that information. But for most branded PCs, like I say, uh, HP, Dell, and so on, just go to the manufacturer's website. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.